Girl, are you seeing this shit? Oh my God, girl, girl, girl. You know, the funny thing is, I told y'all this a couple of days ago, a week ago, that Erica Mena and Safari, honey, was on the verge of breaking up, girl, and they have not been posting in a month, okay? So news reports are saying the love and hip hop Erica dumped Safari, honey, because she, she, she called him, um, texting Nicki Minaj, that's his ex-girlfriend, that's his love of his life, all right? Now, you know what I feel like what happened before I read the article, girl? I feel like this. I feel like Erica, she went on that show, she made those dicks about uh, Nicki Minaj, because remember, she did an interview. Yeah, girl, she did an interview. And they was asking her, do you still listen to Nicki Minaj? And Erica Mena was giving like, girl, you know, she just comes off too fake. She's too plastic. I was never into her. You know, she. I felt like she was like really copying off a little cam. And I'm like, damn, you're biting off of her. Like, can you just be original? You know what I'm saying? That's what she was given in the interview honey and that's when everybody started putting up receipts how erica mena was like in Nicki minaj so hard at a time i feel like Nicki minaj she got wind and all that she saw that because you know they say she'd be looking at everything and she'd be following a whole bunch of people on social media girl okay so anyway beyond beyonce don't follow nobody honey but Nicki, she she does she talks to people that's what they say so anyhow um, I feel like Nicki Minaj, she was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this hole where it really hurt. And I'm going to check that Safari. Safari, why you out here allowing your girl to disrespect me like that? You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I feel like Safari still loves Nicki Minaj. She ain't never been with a girl like he has been with Nicki Minaj. He ain't never loved a girl as deep as he loved Nicki Minaj. He sacrificed a lot of years for Nicki Minaj. So um, I'm sure Safari is a different man now. And sometimes when you're a different person, you have leveled up, you know, you still sometimes want that validation from that ex-love like, bitch, do you see me different now? You know what I'm saying? Do you respect me a little bit better now? You know, I don't know. But I feel like she played the game. She got in with Safari. They start texting. And, um, you know, he, you know, Safari, he a damn player. He lied to girls left and right. He'll say one to one girl. And, and he, you know, he liked to play games like that. You know what I'm saying? And I think he wanted to keep on a low. But they said that how they got exposed was Erica Mena, she felt like something was funny. And she broke into, um, uh, what's his name? Safari phone. You know, she got one of them hackers. And, you know, these hackers are serious, girl. People are paying hackers left and right to break into people's computers and cell phones, okay? So she got a hacker to break into that cell phone. She said she saw disturbing messages from Nicki Minaj and some other things, and she said she's done, okay? So I, I don't know if she got a really beef with Nicki or what, but Nicki Minaj definitely, I feel, <laughs> Anyway, girl, comment, let us know what you think, but let's read the article, okay? Don't, don't take my, please don't take my word for it. All right, so here we go right here. Uh, Love and Hip Hop, Erica Mena and Safari are no longer together. I said that, and we have all the juicy details, girl, surrounding their broken engagement. We want to know everything. How much the ring costs, girl? Did they really have sex for real? Or did they do one, you know, them turkey basters? We want to know. All right, so last week, MTO News reported that Erica was dropping subliminal hits that she and Safari relationship was in trouble, okay? Now we've confirmed, okay? That's what that, we want that confirmation. Through one of Erica's friends that she fired Safari and ended the engagement, honey. So I'm guessing the relationship was a damn job. And Erica was the CEO of it. <laughs> I'm confused What? how she fired. But anyhow, according to one of Erica's closest friends, Erica dropped her reality star fiance because she caught him having secret conversations with his ex-girlfriend, Nicki Minaj. Oh, yeah, and other women, too. 
You know, a lot of people thought y'all was fake because y'all was just too lovey dovey too quick, too soon. And y'all just wanted the world to see, like y'all had to prove something. So a lot of people wasn't buying that. But, you know, nowadays, it really don't matter. You can have a fake baby. Just if link up with somebody, just have a baby and just put on social media. People just going to buy into it. You, you know what? I can get a nigga right now and just say, hey, we in love. I love you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be, just be buying into it. And, oh, they are so in love. You know, nigga, we in, we in this shit for the check. Shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, but Erica's no dummy, okay? She wasn't willing to trust Safari blindly. Well, shit, this is my thing. If it's fake, why the hell do you care, Erica? <laughs> but you know what? I think maybe Erica cared because her ego towards Nicki Minaj. Maybe that's the kicker. But, you know, if it's shit, if I was in a fake relationship, I, I would give a fuck. Le uh, is my check coming? All right, you know, because, you know, Erica, I feel like she's spiteful. And um, she will hurt Safari because she feel like Safari has betrayed her trust because they supposed to be best friends. You know, you betrayed my trust to talk to a girl I don't even like. Now y'all talking to, and you talking, uh-uh. See, this is, I can use this to get out of this situation because I'm tired of your ass anyway, okay? And you know, when it's fake like that, you don't want to be in there for real for a long time. You in there for the cute money moon, minutes, the honeymoon face over and we move on. Or unless it's a uh, breakup to make up so they can get their wedding and get more ratings up. Come on, what is it? Anywho, Erica's no dummy. She wasn't willing to uh, trust Safari blindly. Last month, our snitch tells us to see a snitches around here. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I don't got no friends, okay? <laughs> now I got them and they in LA. But anyhow, tells us that Erica broke into his cell phone when he was look wasn't looking and found some disturbing text messages between Safari and women, including ex Nicki Minaj. I told y'all that. Erica's friend explained Safari and Nicki are working together on a project. What? Say it ain't so, but the way they were talking and flirting, it was not appropriate. Safari told Nikki that he still loved her. Of course, of course he does, all right? He's, uh-huh, yeah. So anyway, the friend continued, when Erica saw that, it was over. Girl, if it was fake, why you care? Erica, I think she really got a problem with Nikki, though. She just don't like that whole... But anywho, Erica all but confirmed her engagement was over. She posted pictures on her Instagram showing her without her engagement ring, girl. Oh, no, you didn't. Let's see it. Okay. We don't see no engagement ring. We see the left hand and the right hand. I don't see no ring. Or, or do you think she just takes it off to go to sleep? But she got them damn earrings on. Why she got the earrings? She got the earrings on, but she don't got the ring. You know what I'm saying? I can see if she ain't had no jewelry, but the whole got jewelry. And that is that a wig? Or what is, what is that? Is that her real hair? See, she got some shit on. Yeah, she got some shit on. Okay. Woo! -wee. I don't know what she got going on. But um, and neither Erica nor Safari has posted any pictures together more than a month. As for the project between Nicki Minaj and Safari, it's not clear when the project is coming out. But um, I don't know how this is going to work. Are they part of New York? Are they part of Hollywood? Because you know Hollywood and New York is coming up. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe they want to stick together to get them views up so they can have, a, you know, I don't know, girl. Anywho, let's take a look at some of these comments. Make sure y'all comment, because we love to read the party cash comments, okay? So anyway, it says, if you have to break in somebody's phone, the relationship is already be beyond repair. You know what? Sometimes you need to break into a mother sucker phone, okay? You need to see what's going on. These niggas lie too much. They lie, lie, lie. I, they lie. Baby, they be with you five, ten years. They still lie. Get in that phone. Look in that phone. Ain't nothing wrong with being secure. Getting into that phone before they erase everything. Shit. 
Shit, if I had the power, I'm breaking to that phone. Okay? Call what it call me, whatever you want. I don't care. I'm I'm looking. Okay? Too bad he couldn't be happy with her. And congrats on her serving him. She looked too good to be messing around with Safari is a perform. Now, you know what? You mess with who you want. All y'all trying, well, you should look. A pretty girl need to be with a handsome man. That is so fairytale BS. Be with who you want to. If they not that attract, that's fine. At least you get all the shine. <laughs> Listen, I went through a phase where I didn't want to date nobody attractive. I, was <laughs> I just want somebody mediocre, okay? I wanted to be the, the most attractive one in the relationship, okay? <laughs> But I'm over that face. It really don't matter. As long as I like you, I don't care. But um, that bitch can ran through like a what? Now, you don't say that about these men, but you don't want to say that about her by she getting ran through like a damn treadmill. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm over this. Uh, comment, let us know what you guys think, and I will see you guys sooner than later.